I'll, uh, All right. It's called a heliographer. It was invented back in 1929 in England. And what it is, it's a crystal ball in which it captures the rays of the light and it burns a blue paper underneath it. So that way we know when the sun was out or not. You know, when it's cloudy or not. Oh. Cloudy. See, so it doesn't use electricity. It's just the sun at work. And it's amazing. It's like, you know, have you ever burned a paper with an fine lens? You know, it's so basically it's the same principle. The you see, it's burning the paper here. Do they put a new one out every day? You see, day? so for instance, every morning, so at six, there were, it was cloudy, remember? But now that the sun is out, it has already started to burn that paper underneath it, you see? Get it up close to the bird. See, you mm -hmm. said burn. It's on my side, maybe. Or oh, okay. Here. You see, you see it there. Uh -huh. cool. See, is that something? So it doesn't run on electricity. It just runs on the sun. Wow. So, so every day they put a piece of paper, and that way we can know when the sun was out. Was intense. Wow. See, see this is the outer husk that all coconuts have. Oh, see, and the actual. Oops. <laughs> 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 One more time. You see how hard it is? Yeah. It's amazing. It's so hard. hard. There it goes. See? Whoa. Here's the coconut drink right there. That's all you get. That's all you get. Rosario Blanco. Okay. 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 Picture of his butt crack <laughs> shooting the model. No, that's a good picture. My son does that type of photography. She's not too. like anorexic either. That's interesting. Because yeah. like the U.S. models are like are up their yeah. bones. That's silly. Yeah. But models out here are not anorexic. No, no. Okay, let's go check out. The Neither can we, but we do anyway. Ecological yeah, is simply more practical. It, but we do anyways, yeah. 97. Cool. It's coming for you. It's coming for you.
Here it goes. Oh my gosh, it's you amazing. Getting this? Get this. Get this boom. Watch this. What you have before you eyes is needle and thread. See? Here's the needle, and there's the thread tied onto it. See? There's nothing. It's fantastic. See? Nature provides. Now, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna let that dry, and 15 minutes later, I'm gonna twist it and make a rope out of it. Right. You can take it back as a souvenir. Okay? Bye. And I'm going to twist this, like this. It's just a few seconds. I'm twisting this in one direction. Okay. Then you hold on to this taut, okay? Taut. Okay. Stretching it. Don't let go of the needle now. Now I'm going to do the other one in the same direction. However, when I put them together, when I hook them together, I'm going to do it in the opposite direction and watch what's going to happen. Now you give me that tip. Don't let go of the needle. And here we go. Here we go. A needle and thread finished. Yeah, you were a stand up. You are a stand up. So we are sundials on both sides. Okay. Come in, and Ivan. Oh, better. Yeah, yeah. You have to make sure you're getting this on the video. This. Okay. 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 It doesn't spin at all. It just goes kind of straight down. See that? Now, next, we're going to go to the southern hemisphere, but just a few feet away. Go clockwise. And mind you, we're only a few feet away from the equator. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Okay. Now, to complete the story, we're going to go over... Neat, isn't it? No. I'm good. <laughs> so it's better than.